So here is how to fix Epic Games Launcher login error or can't login. So first what you want to do is right click on Windows icon, open the run command. And in here you want to type uh, percentage sign, local update up percentage sign. Now press OK. And in here you want to search for the Epic Games Launcher. Then double click on it. And then uh, go to saved folder. And in here, if you see a web cache underscore 4430 folder, you want to right click on it and remove it. Now you can um, try to run Epic Games Launcher again and try to log in. Now, if that still does not fix the problem, what you can do is go back to the same folder and then go to local. And in here, you want to select Epic Games folder and Epic Games Launcher folder, both of them selected. Right click and delete them to delete these folders. Now, if it's not letting you delete these folders, it's usually because um, Epic Games Launcher is still running in the background. So you want to open Task Manager and in here search for Epic Games and then right click on End Task if you find any processes in here. Now you can simply close this and go back and try to remove these folders again. Next, what you can do is go back to your desktop, right click on the Epic Games Launcher, click Show More Options, Properties, and go to Compatibility tab. And in here, you want to make sure that the uh, program run is this program as admin is checked, and Disable Full Screen Optimization is also checked. Next, click Apply and then OK. Now try to run the Epic Games Launcher and try to log in again to see if it works. Now, if you still have the issue, what you can do is right click on Windows logo, go to Installed Apps, and then in here search for Epic Games. And then next to Epic Launcher, click on the three dots and click on Uninstall to completely uninstall the launcher. And now you can do a clean install from the browser, open your browser, and then search for Epic Games. Epic Games Launcher Download, then click on Download and click on Install on Windows and it should start downloading the Epic Games Launcher again. Now once it's downloaded, you can simply double click it to run it and start doing a clean install of the launcher again. And that should generally solve the issue. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.